if you want to restrict the websites that your student goes to on the iPad, there's a specific way to do it. The first thing you need to do is you need to find the settings app. So if you've used it recently, it's down here, but otherwise it is somewhere on the student iPad. So go to the settings, open up settings. It should open to general, but you want to go to screen time. So click on screen time and you want to turn on screen time, walk through, hit continue. You want to say, this is my iPad. Otherwise it's going to ask you for your Apple ID and all these other things. So don't do that. Then you want to set a screen time passcode. Now it's very important here that you write down the passcode or either remember it and email it to your child's teacher so that they have that in case it's left on when they get back to school. The teacher has the passcode and can take that off or override the settings that you have set. So you use a screen time passcode. You put in whatever four digits that you would like. You have to put it in again to re-enter it to make sure that it works. It's going to pass pop up with this screen time passcode recovery. If you just go up to cancel, it will say, what you would you like to skip? And you just say, yes, I want to skip. And then the passcode is in there. At any time, you can change the passcode. Then you go into content and privacy restrictions. You turn on content and privacy restrictions. Enter the passcode. Then you go to content restrictions. You go down here to web content and you turn on limit adult websites. Now this isn't really going to do much for your student, um, but the place that you want to go to um, not allow them access to a specific website is right here where it says never allow. So you click add website, you type in the website name, and you choose done. Now, when you go back to your home screen and you go to Safari, and if your student tries to go to YouTube, they will get this to pop up. If you would like to allow the website, you simply click the allow website button, type in your passcode, and you may see Safari close down, but the next time that you open up Safari and you go back to YouTube, YouTube will be allowed for your students. Now, if you want to stop allowing that because we're outside of class time you go back home go to your settings go to your content and privacy restrictions like you did before content restrictions type in your passcode go to your web content you will need to delete your never allow and you will need to put it back in again because right now what you've done before is you've overridden what was there previously. So now when you go back to Safari, YouTube will be blocked again. So make sure if you block a site and you allow the website to be shown, you go back into your content settings and delete it out of there and re-add it back because you've overridden the settings that you previously put in there. If there are any other restrictions that you would like to put on the student's iPad, again, go back to your settings. And you can see in here that you can schedule time away from screen. So you have the downtime. So you put your passcode in and you can choose your downtime. So set the schedule for time away from the screen. Only apps that you choose to allow and phone calls will be available. So you can shut the iPad off for students. You also have the option to set app limits. So you can add limits for the day for specific apps in here. And you also have choose apps you want to um, allow at all times. So you can go through in here and choose the apps that you want to allow at all times. So you can, students don't have access to phone and messages or maps, so that's okay. But down here, all of the apps that are on your student's iPad, you can choose as well. That is in addition to the content and privacy restrictions.